Hi, I'm Susie with Fashionable Fit. And I'm Jana with In All of Her Splendor. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a bold lip. Now a bold lip is great for summer because our skin is usually tanned and it, the skin tone's even so we tend to wear less makeup and that's why it's great against a bold lip because it's all about the lip. If you have blush or a lot of eyeshadow on then it's competing but as you can see for Johnny here she just has on a little foundation, her brows are shaped, she's got mascara and a little contour on her cheeks and she's <laughs> It's good to go. <laughs> but you weren't supposed to know that. She just wakes up this way. These cheeks are natural. So if you're intimidated by doing a bold lip, then this tutorial should hopefully give you the confidence to do it. It's just in three easy steps. The first step is you moisturize. And I like this uh, product called Lip Service. It's by Napoleon Purtis. So you uh, moisturize your lips, and it's good to do it while you're putting on your foundation so that the product can uh, get into your skin and moisturize. And if you have any product that you fill on your lips once you're ready to apply the lipstick, you just blot it lightly with the tissue. And then the second step is you take your lip color. This is Lady at Play by MAC, and it's um, got an orangey uh, like undertone to it, and it's good against Jonna's skin because she's got a golden undertone. And if you were had a pink undertone, you would look for something a little more blue based, like a cherry red. And um, just think of Gwen Stefani. She's got a, a light skin. She's not tan, but she still looks fabulous with a bold lip. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a lip brush and you're going to apply the product on both sides. Load your brush with product so that um, you can get a really good application. I always use those brushes just if I was running out of lipstick. Yeah, so you can do that or you can do <laughs> what I learned and that is... <laughs> When you apply with a lip brush, you get the richest pigment onto your lips. And it's also easier to control where you apply it because the tube is like shaped, you know, it's not like you can't get into all the different parts of your lips really well, the lip straight from the tube all the time. So what we're going to do is start at the center of her lip and work our way out. And you're kind of just doing short feathering motions. And you're going to apply this actually twice. We're going to do one application and she's going to blot it and it's going to create a lip stain. A clean towel, blot, like so. <laughs> and then we're going to load the brush again, both sides. Yeah, so that would just keep applying and then it would just keep coming off and yeah, then keep applying. See, the trick is you want to create an, a stain. And did you, you don't have to buy a lip stain, you just make one by blotting. And the other tip is you want your, when you're, especially when you're applying a bold color, you want your lips to be even on the top and the bottom. So if you have like a thinner upper lip, then you want to use a take corrective measures when you're applying and just put it, you know, let it go a little over your natural lip line. It's not going to look bad. Oh, it could, then you're wrong. <laughs> True. So let's, you know, keep in mind we're not trying to look like a clown or a stage performer. I won't say what kind. And then if you go over, also don't blot, don't, not blot, don't. Smack your lips together and move her on like this because you're going to move the product that you just worked so hard to apply evenly. Just let it be. It's cool. It's on there. You did it with a lip. You didn't do it with the That's tube. That's what my mom would always do. Like. <laughs> but here's the trick. If you have a little of an unsteady hand, and we all have it sometimes, you just wipe off your lip brush, clean it off with a makeup, makeup remover, or you may be balling and you have a whole other clean lip brush sitting there waiting for you. Which do we all? That's what ballers do. <laughs> Makeup Who ballers. Knew? Who knew? <laughs> Get it good and clean. I mean, bold lip color is, you know, really, and I, as you can see, I loaded my brush really well because I'm still trying to get the product off. So once you have that product off, you take a concealer and just dip into it. And I always put product, cream, cream bait, cream products on the back of my hand so that they're warm and they, um, go on. It's an easier application this way because you have a lot of heat in your skin and it's just like a natural little heater for your makeup. So if she had any marks you could just take your concealer brush and just kind of clean up the ends. And you can dab with your finger. Your finger is a great blender and eraser. So if you lose your makeup brushes and you need a quick makeup application, you just use your fingers because that's what they're there for. Other than all the other great things they do. <laughs> that's why I have fingers, who knew? <laughs>
I think I did a pretty stand-up job. I'm not gonna lie. You must be a makeup artist. And she, has, and she has really <laughs> even lips, and so you know, it's all looking pretty good. Just like, give me a night. Nice, yeah, give me a nice, relax. Let me just make sure. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of just putting it on so you guys can see what you do. You just kind of apply and then pat it into your skin. You blend, blend away. That's what what a flawless makeup application consists of: blending, blending, blending. So there you have it. There is your bold lip for summer. Do you notice how it really pops against her skin because she has no makeup, a no makeup look is what we're calling it. She has a little makeup on, but it's really all about her bold lip. So if you want more information on the exact products I used and a deeper description of how to do this look, if you're a, uh, a reader instead of a listener, <laughs> you can go to my, my blog at fashionablefet.com. And see me in all of her splendor. Thank you. <laughs>